A natural disaster is unforeseen. It is often therefore unavoidable. In recent years, Malawi has experienced floods that claimed hundreds of lives and destroyed property. Dry spells also caused food insecurity. The impact of these disasters on people is, however, being minimized, courtesy of the modernized climate information and early warning systems in CLIMES project, which was launched by the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, in 2017. The project addresses the uh, climate and weather information needs of uh, the vulnerable population of Malawi. The uh, project provides uh, relevant information, weather information, uh, long-term and short-term information for them to plan their activities properly. UNDP-aided institutions such as the Department of Climate Change and Meteorological Services, Water Resources and Fisheries, with sophisticated equipment to forecast credible and life-saving weather patterns. MCLIMS has supported the department quite uh, tremendously. It has improved early warning system in the department or in Malawi in particular because we have a good network right now. Before we had this project, we didn't have any lightning detecting system. Right now we have eight of them. Equipment such as the lightning detector at Chilega Airport helps DCCM to track thunderstorms and detect lightning two hours before it strikes. In Palombe district, smallholder farmers are commending the M-Climbs project. It has helped them to increase crop productivity and yields in the wake of climate change. Here, farmers receive seasonal and short-term agro-weather information and advisories via an approach dubbed Participatory Integrated Climate Services for Agriculture, PIXA, through National Smallholder Farmers Association, NASFA. Through Pixa, farmers like Jenny Barton managed to increase her harvest to 25 bags of maize, 10 bags of rice, and 5 bags of pigeon peas during the 2021 to 2022 growing season. <laughs> Pixar is also being implemented in Rumpi, where farmers also practice climate smart agriculture. Agriculture extension workers here are intensively guiding farmers through the M Climbs project. We are trying our best that these farmers they should be growing their crops considering how rainfall will be that season that is. In the past farmers used just to grow crops anyhow but this time we are trying to teach them that there is change in climate so you are supposed to be growing crops according to the weather conditions. The M Climbs project is also serving people's lives in flood prone areas across Malawi. Through the community-based flood early warning systems, communities receive flood warning alerts three hours before a flood occurs. In Zomba, instruments called Data Acquisition DA and Data Acquisition Units DU are installed upstream along Tondwe, Palombe and Ligangara rivers where they detect water levels for possible floods. 
A responsible community member called a caretaker looks after the equipment and monitors critical water levels. Chimene chutenga uma chokera kusinje kuja. Pamene mazi ya mbwela kapena vula ya chita. Mazi ya mbwela. Ndipo kulikame na kumene wema yona mazi mucha. Zimene zo utenga umene uma, uma tumizidu wa kumaluwa ngawa. Amene hali mjubo kusumu. Ndipo utenga o uma pikiru wa ngatuli oopsha. Chituwechi marira usiku. Ndipo ni matamanga kubwela. Nikona beti uchikulira ya mfu, pafupi 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 pafupi. Ndipo Poziwa kuti utenga wa uma tumizidu wa pampepo. Kumabe ni maona kuti kumusiku ndia imbile foni. Ndipo ni maimbile foni. Ndipo amatia wafika utenga uja kapena ice unafiki. Ndikatele yu ni mauza za utenga umenu ziku, ziku bwela kumene kumusiku. Ndipo ni mauza kuti mazi ya kubwela. Auze ni antu wakia njezeni. Flood alarm units are installed in flood-prone communities. The alarm is networked with the DU and cloud server to provide a flood risk alert. This area in Zomba is surrounded by Likangala and Tondwe rivers. They both flood during each rain season, displacing thousands of residents here. <laughs> Fuga maziena ama takubela usiku wa ntuali ntulo. Ndiye hizi kubela kwa zipangizozi, ziku mata kudizi wisa usiku wa mweo, tau hili yose mene mazi ya kubela, antu nukumakala cheru, pali mawa ziambili maja yasa nafike kunoko. This flood alarm unit serves 46,000 people in this area of traditional authority mambo. The alarm sound has a radius of 3 kilometers. Once the community hears a flood alert alarm, they flee to this magnificent evacuation center that UNDP constructed in the area under the Disaster Risk Management for Resilience project. The AIM Climbs project has also supported installation of automated hydro stations in various flood-prone rivers to support the national flood forecasting in Malawi by Department of Water Resources. 13 automated hydrological stations are installed in Rumpi. They detect rising water levels and velocity of rivers such as South Rukuru, which is flood prone. Karunga district in northern Malawi is also flood prone. Already, floods killed 10 people between 2012 and 2022 in the area of traditional authority Mwakawoko. In 2022, the flooding Songo River that borders Malawi and Tanzania nearly washed away the whole Mandenga village. Anangozi mene inashitika ndi usiku. Inashitika usiku chama past 11. Ntai mene antu o seambiri atagona. Kuno kuma sefukila misinji o siya na siyana ilipo yambiri. Kuditi ziwe kuti chiyambe juna kuti kunoku mazi ya kusefukira. Maga maka kuli zintu zimene zinaiki duwa kunoku. Anaika ndia adodima. Billy Moa, his family and the village had heard the flood alert alarm. Ife ndi banja latu. Tinapuru munga chifuwa cha alamu imene inalila usiku. Ndiba mene tinanya munga limozi ndia anana oso kutamangila kuntunda. Karonga is a low-lying district compassed by four rivers that originate from the Misuku and Iponga hills, hence the reason why the M Climbs project is a lifesaver here. This year, Karonga district, we have been hit, but uh, uh, in terms of the damage, uh, there has been a reduction in uh, cases of loss of lives as well as the people being washed away, specifically in the areas where we are having the M Climbs project, where we have the community-based flood air warning system. Because uh, generally, uh, the systems that are installed in these particular areas would warn people um, at a proper time that maybe uh, when the rivers are flooding, uh, communities could be alerted with the, uh, the sound systems that are coming from the air owning gadgets that have been installed. To advance weather information dissemination to farmers and fisher folks, M Climbs is working with Chisomo Community Radio Station in Salima. 
The radio airs a program called Uli Mindinyengo, which links agricultural activities with weather and climate change. Tikere <laughs> Popeza ena abe olo ave utenga ama nyozira kutimu ina abe ifetipida abe banyanji. Kuma abe, chifukuwa jamene zinduzima kalira, siti matu opa ife kuwauza utenga kufika na sozo kuti aziwe jeni jeni kutiji kutiji kandi jani. Kuposa rabo, siti jezandi iwoka, kumasa utima jezandi aga tuiri, aza usozi. Kupariza wosa aga tuiri, aku daisi, kufuna kuziwa kutiko dijo olinga jawa pa alimi kweni kweni nchiani. Kumasa alimiwa, ave ndure buanji, potengi landi kuti nyengo ya tumziko mono, igunka nisi ntantawe, ntantawe. The Mank Bay Capture Fishery Station in Mangochi is also benefiting from the M Climbs project. M Climbs provided them with a lake boy. So basically, this lake boy is collecting the wave height. This is playing an important role in the early warning systems to the fisher folks. This information is what helps us to be able to predict what is going to happen on the lake. For those who are involved in fishing, it means they would rather go into the aquatic environment when the, uh, the weather is uh, quite okay. But at times it becomes very challenging for them to predict uh, uh, the, the weather pattern that is going to happen in the, in the, in the course of, uh, uh, of the activities. And therefore it also helps them to uh, ensure that by the end of the day we are uh, reducing and then avoiding these uh, 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 casualties like death, uh, people drowning just because of the uh, harsh uh, uh, weather uh, conditions within the uh, aquatic ecosystem. Despite these efforts, there are challenges in getting the weather forecast to the fisher folks, most of whom have no gadgets to access information on. If you have a minute, you can't get a minute. Kumasa tika pina chungkuza mao kapina ali pali pali antamena mabwela ni kumasa tuusa tero kuli nyengo ya kuti nyengo ya kuti haa simene zozo paduko patu pano palibe kuma kumvela mwina pa tv kamena andi ma radio kamena andi ma phone o tia taupanga google pa ma phone tima zindikia kuchoka kwa antunga tamene o This is Pemba Fishing Dock in Mangochi Fishers spend most of their time here There is no radio and among them, less than 15 have mobile phones that are not internet supported. As such, they often miss weather updates. Nevertheless, the project is working on establishing diversified information dissemination systems. UNDP is impressed with the progress of the project. Uh, it's a mixed strategy actually, so while we are looking for, looking to provide them information through radio, and you know mobile phones but at the same time we also work with the uh, extension services who has a presence at the ground to provide the information the fishing communities need. Over two million people are benefiting from the M Climbs project across 21 districts. The six-year-long project is pegged at over 16 million US dollars funded by Green Climate Fund.